Mr. Speaker, today it becomes official. This will become the most closed, 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 the most closed Congress ever. Most closed Congress in our history. In the history of the United States. Then we are just in May. The majority has blocked all amendments on most bills. Structured rules, 44 percent. Closed rules, 56 percent. Open rules, zero. What does that mean? 84 closed rules. It means we don't debate on the floor. We're shut out. It means that they blocked us from fully debating or amending legislation. We can't even bring an amendment to the floor. We are sent here by our constituents to advocate for their interests. There has been a deliberate attempt to shut out the voices of the American people. On top of the fact we don't debate in committee. You can talk for as long as you want to the Rules Committee. That's what you guys want to do. We want to legislate. 28 times I've offered amendments. 23 amendments of mine have been blocked. One of them was allowing citizens to import safe prescription drugs from Canada at lower cost. One would have increased the amount of funding available to local governments that are struggling to improve their drinking water systems. And think about my hometown of Flint. An amendment to increase student loan interest tax deductions in our tax bill. To end tax breaks for companies that ship American jobs overseas. Violent extremism. Deported veterans. The DREAM Act. Environmental laws. Cybersecurity. Equal pay. Thoughtful amendments. Simple amendments. This closed process is something you would see in Russia or Turkey or in some other authoritarian government, not in the people's house. And I find it passing strange that I hear voices saying that Democrats are obstructionists. Obstructionists are what? We can't even get amendments made in order. You heard from some of my colleagues here today that important issues like ensuring clean water for children, ethics, cybersecurity, banning bump stocks, gun violence, protecting our veterans or protecting Medicare and Social Security, these amendments are routinely denied. You have more closed rules than any other Congress in the history of the United States of America. How anybody can defend that with a straight face is beyond me.